So I just want to cover this real quick. Um, I've been hunting for one of these Motorola speakers for a while. This is an old cop car speaker, and in my opinion, one of the best speakers ever made for two-way mobile communication. It is powered, mute, functioned, and uh, it's pretty slick. So it comes in an all-metal enclosure. I mean, there's, there's some schmoo going on inside of this thing. If you look at your regular external speaker, you'll find that it's got a little tiny piss-ass magnet. Not this thing, it's, it's beefy. This is a, uh, well, it's like a six watt speaker that runs at three ohms. Odd number, I know, three ohms, but it is three ohms. And they've got a 12 watt amplifier attached to it. So because we've got the bigger speaker, the bigger magnet, um, bigger voice coil, that means we're gonna have a lot better tonality, a lot better sound quality to it. So we're gonna run it outside the metal case here real quick. But this is the Motorola, this is a pretty standard number, um, NSN 6048A. Very well designed speaker, 1990s technology at its best. So let's take a quick look at the, 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 the cable for this. It comes with this big Molex connector thingy that plugs in the back of the radio. We don't need any of that. All we need to know is what the wiring code is. So yellow and red you're going to tie together that's your positive lead black and white you're going to tie together that's your ground lead completely separate from your audio leads by the way your audio leads going to be brown wire and then the shield okay which i'm just going to have hooked up to my icom 7300 on the headphone jack so we're not going to even be giving it the full um, four watts it's like a two i think two watt standard on the headphone jack okay where the external speaker jack is a four watt standard. So we're only gonna be giving this half the amount of input signal that it actually requires. So let's get this positive and negative. Now there is a capacitor in there that's gonna cause a little bit of a spark when you first charge this up, okay? There's a, a filtering cap here in the power supply circuit. Just know that. And you're gonna to wanna to put a fuse on this, by the way. So fuse the positive link. Now your green wire is really important. This is your mute wire. And what this allows you to do is it switches the amp on and off that's inside of this thing. And it works at a very discrete voltage. So um, I think it's like a volt and a half to two volts is all it takes to switch um, the amp on. So it's just like a remote switch for an irregular car audio system, if that'll make sense to everybody that's listening to this. But you can feed it 12 volts just fine. Now check this out. Okay, that's a volume at quarter, volume at half, volume at two thirds, volume at four. And that's out of an enclosure. So that was volume at a quarter, then volume at half, then volume at two thirds and then volume it full. And this, remember, from a headphone jack. Now you'll pick up all the lower tones once that this goes inside of the enclosure. This is your remote on. Now for my fellow brethren out there that are running a little bit of high voltage or high output setups, and you're afraid about RF getting into the amp section of this and causing feedback, with a relay, you can simply, when you key the mic, shut the speaker off. No sound. No noise come from speaker. That is out of the enclosure. That's how loud this is. Let's put this in here and see how loud it is. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for this. Okay, changed its pitch and everything completely. Of course, now it's inside of an enclosure. Um, this, it's the engineering points inside of Motorola that I love. Like. The speakers, or the, the screws for the speaker, they're captive. So when you back them off, the screws don't fall out. They've got a little re retainer clip that's on the back of the screw that keeps it in place. It's the little details. It's the little details. Just the magnet size, the oversized speaker itself, that means you're gonna have the bigger magnet, bigger motor. Quarter. Yeah. 
I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I can tonality listening to it on this side of the street. Um, in my opinion, this is like the external speaker of the gods. It's working. <laughs> I hope somebody out there can find this useful. Um, I had to scour the internet quite a little bit to find this, this code out to verify it. But what I ended up doing was just taking the speaker apart and reading the board itself. So on that note, gentlemen, have a good day. I appreciate you all. We'll see you. Bye.